Hello space travelers, welcome in Jezero Crater. We're back with another interesting episode from Mars. Today we're going to explore in detail the most detailed 360-degree panorama ever sent from the Red Planet. It was Sol 466 when the Perseverance rover acquired this spectacular 2.5 billion pixel mosaic by using its high-resolution Mastchem Z camera. We are looking at the rover's wheel tracks which are deeply engraved into the Martian sand. Perseverance weighs 1,025 kilograms on Earth, but since Mars is only about 71% as dense as Earth, the rover's weight on the red planet is only 393 kilograms. So if you weighed 80 kilograms, or 176 pounds, on our planet, then you would weigh 30 kilograms, or 66 pounds, on Mars. What's interesting is that Mars is the planet where you would weigh the least. On the other hand, Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system with the most mass, but since this giant is mostly made up of gases, its surface gravity is just 2.34 times that of Earth. So if you weighed 80 kilograms on Earth, then you would weigh 187 kilograms, or 412 pounds, on Jupiter. Here we are already looking towards the southwest, where several interesting hills can be seen in the background. Now let's take a closer look at what we see in the picture. This sharp small hill in the foreground was located about 7.3 kilometers, or 4.5 miles, away from the rover when this image was taken. The highest and biggest flat hill in the middle was located approximately 9.5 kilometers, or 5.9 miles, from Perseverance. Fascinating. This interesting pointy hill on the left, located behind the large flat hill was about 10 kilometers, or 6.2 miles, away from the rover on Sol 466. And if you were wondering how far the southwestern rim of the crater is, it's about 15.5 kilometers, or 9.6 miles, away. Okay, now let's have a look at interesting objects that are closer to the rover. We are going to explore this outcrop in the foreground first. The Perseverance rover was located exactly here, when this absorbing panorama has been taken. And this is the same object acquired by the rover on Sol 543. Perseverance was about 210 meters, or 690 feet, away from this object. Another prominent object in the image is this protruding outcrop located about 390 meters, or 1,280 feet, away. Right down here under the edge of this elevated platform is where Perseverance is currently located as of Sol 562. In this image from the Mars orbiter we can even notice these fallen rocks or the amazing sand ripples below them. The location is called Enchanted Lake, and this is the second time the rover has visited this exact site. During its first visit to this site, 
the rover had to leave this location earlier than planned because it was dispatched to get closer to re-establish contact with Ingenuity after communication dropout with the helicopter. This interesting small crater is just 25 meters, or 82 feet, wide and 230 meters, or 755 feet, away from the rover. The southern narrow part of the fan-shaped deposit of sediments known as the delta. And what do we see here in this image? Well, let's start with this interesting flat-top delta remnant. Would you guess how far is it from Perseverance? It's about 2.1 kilometers, or 1.3 miles, away. It isn't easy to guess distances on Mars. Now let's explore these steep slopes of the western crater rim. I edited this image a little to make individual features easier to recognize. Many things to see, any rock slides. If you are wondering how tall this rim is and how far it is, then its top is approximately 600 meters, or 1970 feet, above the floor, and 10 kilometers, or 6.2 miles, away from Perseverance. The rover should use this path on its way to the 3.5 billion old western inflow channel, Narepa Vallis, through which the river flowed into Lake Jezero. The western delta formed from sediment that this ancient river carried to the mouth of the lake. And now let's take a closer look at the individual interesting features that are located closer to the rover. And what do we see here? Let's mark some interesting features in both images. We can observe this beautifully layered edge of the outcrop here in the picture below with many other interesting objects. And here we see Perseverance sitting at Higualo Flats, formerly known as the Bacon Strip due to its light-colored striped rocks. The rocks at Higualo Flats are very fine-grained, that's why the team chose this location, as these rocks may have the best chance at preserving evidence of life. As we all know, one of the major goals of this mission is searching for evidence of past life. From studying deltas on Earth we know that fine-grained clay-rich rocks in these environments are some of the best at preserving ancient biomarkers. So to analyze these important rocks thoroughly, biomarkers or abiotic, non-biological organics, the sample return to Earth is important. Many fascinating objects of various types and shapes at Higualo Flats. Beautiful. As same as this absorbing exposed outcrop nicknamed the Rocky Top. But now I want to show you something even more interesting. Can you guess what we are looking at? It's a thermal blanket, visible dot pattern, installed onto the sky crane, which flew away from Perseverance's landing site after touchdown, and crashing safely a couple of hundred meters from the rover. 
But you can ask, how did this material get all the way over to Higualo Flats when the Sky Crane crash site is located 2 kilometers, or 1.2 miles, to the southeast? It appears that the energy from the Sky Crane crash may have first ejected the blanket into the air and hen the blanket was simply blown by the wind over the course of several days or weeks. And it wasn't the only material found at Higualo Flats. This Dacron netting material, normally used in thermal blankets was also found in this area on Sol 474 and acquired by Mastcam Z camera on Sol 477. Or this ball of knotted string-like material which was taken by Hascom camera on Sol 495. Really interesting. It seems that this region obviously attracts all the windblown material from the EDL. Entry, descent, and landing system. But what is it down here? This rock has a really strange shape, what do you think? And now let's check what is above the rover. These amazing dark layered rocks which are about 10 meters, or 33 feet, above the rover are called the Rocky Top Outcrop. Look at that horizontal layering. Really absorbing. But what is this interesting object over here? All these rocks have been exposed to the harsh conditions on Mars for billions of years, and this one is no exception. So over that time the wind has shaped these objects into fascinating forms, like this one called balanced rock. This large layered block is also interesting. If you're wondering what is it doing here, then it's a fallen piece from the rocky top outcrop which rises above the rover. This layered rock made up of alternating coarse-grained and fine-grained materials was a perfect candidate for a drill campaign. But due to its ribbed layers and strange shape the Perseverance rover was not able to safely place its robotic arm, the core, on the target to abrade and drill. But then the team found this. A low-lying interesting rock that looks very similar to Betty's rock. This time it was easy for the rover to maneuver the arm and place the core on the target to grind and drill it, as we can see on this Hascom image from Sol 495. The target is called Skinner Ridge and the rover was able to abrade here as well as was capable to extract two rock samples from this outcrop. And these are the two rock samples inside the drill in detail. Scientists believe these rock samples contain materials transported by water from potentially hundreds of miles outside of Jezero Crater. But not all these fine-grained sedimentary rocks are able to withstand the pressure of the drill while exposing the rock. As we can see here, this one crumbled during the drill campaign. Now let's examine some features which are further away from the rover. This nearby high outcrop is located only about 250 meters or 820 feet away from Perseverance. And now let's take a closer look at the place where the Ingenuity helicopter should be located after flight number 29. According to my calculations, this here could be the Ingenuity located about 680 meters or 2,230 feet from the rover as of Sol 466. But what are these two white dots over here?
Well, we're looking at the back shell and parachute that brought the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter safely on the surface of Mars. Behind this sharp ridge in the distance should be the approximate Octavia E. Butler landing site. On the other hand, this majestic hill in the background, which forms the eastern rim of the crater is about 48 kilometers or 30 miles away. We are looking at the wheel tracks made by Perseverance during the Sol 461. We can even observe its tracks from Sol 434 and 436, when the rover begun the ascent of the Delta near Hawksbill Gap after successfully establishing contact with Ingenuity. And let's end today's episode with this spectacular Delta's remnant nicknamed, Kodiak, located only 1 kilometer or 0.6 miles away from Perseverance. So how did you like today's episode from Mars? If you appreciate what I do here, please like, comment, subscribe and you can also support me on Patreon, link in the video description. Many thanks. Thank you for watching.